Hi, I'm Tony Nail, and today I want to talk to you a little about the technique of bunting. Uh, first of all, in bunting, you want to get into a proper uh, body position, uh, athletic position with your feet under you. You want to um, make two moves here. Unlike the old days, we used to square around the bunt this way. Well, we kind of changed that, learned a little better way of doing this. So we, now we just move our right foot and slide the hand up like this. Notice I start out when I turn. I slide my hand up to the part that starts the bat getting bigger, and I want to keep my bat head at the top of my strike zone, right here, right here. All right, this, this allows you to just go forward on a bunt or down. You don't want to go up on a bunt. The worst thing that happen when you bunt is bunting a ball above your head or out of the strike zone high. Three things normally happen. You miss the ball, you foul the ball, or you pop it up. All three are bad. So. Turn the back foot, slide the hand up, get your bat at an angle here, where your bat head is up. Notice my arms are out in front of me, not in here. You want to be able to see the bat and the ball at the same time, like this. So you've got to have your head behind the bat. All right, also, when I go down for a pitch, notice I'm not doing this. I'm not reaching down for a ball. I'm sliding the hands up. I'm going down with my knees. This way enables me to keep my eyes behind the bat at all times and see it. Okay, most, one of the most important things about bunting is just like hitting a ball. You, you only bunt strikes. Unless you're in a suicide squeeze situation, you only bunt strikes. Okay, this is, this is about it on bunting at this time. At another time, we'll get into bunting on how to, how to bunt, and dead in your bat, or live in your bat for a wet ground or a fast field. Okay, thank you.